Hi everyone, we're back at the home of Crybaby Performance where we try and they cry. Okay, we're working on the rod clearance today. We have to measure the crank and then we're gonna go and measure the rod. The crank right now is stock and now we're on to the rod. The rod is a stock rod and it has about two and a half thousandths of clearance. We wanna open that rod up to be about three and a half to four thousandths clearance so a lot of oil gets in there and lubricates it here we have a hone and we're going to hone the rod to the size keep measuring the rod hone it i use wd-40 to lubricate my hone you can buy the hone offline just measure the rod and buy the appropriate hone Okay, so we've done this like four times. Now we're going to measure it with plastic gauge. Put the plastic gauge, make sure you put oil on both sides, the rod and the cap, and make the plastic gauge as long as the journal so that it comes out nice and even when you put the cap on the rod. Then we're going to torque that cap to the factory specs and then once we take the cap off the plastic gauge will be left on there you can see on the package of the plastic gauge and line it up to what the dimension how fat the plastic gets squished down will be your dimension as you can see by the plastic gauge it comes with a little chart and we're at about three thousandths right now and we really want to be a little looser than that about three and a half so we put the rod back on the hone and honed more out of it then we put it back together this took about four four tries to get it at about three and a half thousandths where we liked it that's the plastic gauge going onto the rod onto the crank make sure that you uh, put oil under it and above it and torque it to the factory spec. We've clearanced the rod with the hone several times to get to this point. This is our last measurement and we are at three and a half thousandths. We like this. This gives the rod enough clearance to the crank so that oil can stay in between there and keep it lubricated as you, we're running these engines higher than the manufacturer's specifications of 3600.